Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is not only going to be a Kringle candle review, it is also going to be a Kringle giveaway. Yes, you heard that correctly. I will be giving away one of these Kringle reserve candles that I'm here to share with you today, but you'll have to stay tuned to the end of the video to register and enter for the giveaway. But I have three new fragrances to talk to you about. But before I get into it, I originally had this video scheduled to go up last night, but it rendered weird and the editing wasn't right. So I was like, hmm, okay, let me redo this video. And today I had so much to do. I am finally sitting down to film and uh, there's five fragrances that did launch this morning at 9 a.m. Today is April 6th. I ordered online as soon as I woke up this morning. Well, I was up at like 5 a.m., but as soon as it launched at 9 a.m., I did place an order for the remaining two, and one already sold out. So, but never fear. I have a feeling Kringle will be restocking these. Don't quote me on that, but I did read, um, Mick made a comment in one of the candle groups. If you don't know, Mick Kittredge is the owner of Kringle Candle, and he was saying that there's an issue with the manufacturer and they did not make as many this round as they wanted to. And that's why they sold out pretty fast. But all the other ones, as of now, I'm filming this at 5 p.m. So as of right now, they're still available. And that vanilla rose cone, which doesn't that sound delicious, like vanilla ice cream in a waffle cone. <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I did manage to order one of those. And then turquoise. Those are the two that I do not have. But the blue orchid, herbs and spice, and crimson and clover, I do have here. And I am going to give one of those away to you guys, too. But they are still available. And if you use my code DREWYOCK15, you actually get 15% off. Again, I am a Crinkle Candle Ambassador. But that does not mean I will not give you my honest opinions. And... Uh, Honestly, out of these three, I definitely have a winner, one that I enjoy, and one that it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to burn, which also, speaking of, a little bit of a struggle to burn. You see that candle back there? Cookies and cream cake. I watched Melanie. If you're not familiar with Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom here on YouTube. She's amazing. Her and I have very similar opinions on that. Chocolate candles just are not for me. Now that sinful reserve candle, the chocolate peanut butter, that's decadent and to die for, but this cookies and cream cake, it's gonna be a struggle to burn. And honestly, I think after this burn, it's gonna get lidded, put on the shelf. And if a friend comes over and they're like, oh, that smells great, amazing, take it home because it's just not for me. So again, just because I'm an ambassador does not mean that I love everything that I haul from Kringle. So without further ado, Let's get into it. I've got my handy dandy iPad here, which also, can we talk about how old this iPad is? Are you like me with Apple? Like I have an iPhone, an Apple Watch, an iPad, a uh, MacBook, I have all Apple. And I feel like every year I like alternate on which purchase I make. One year will be a phone and I rotate and I just feel like with my laptop and my phone, I rarely use my iPad. But lately with school, with work, I, I really do like my laptop, but I like my iPad too. And this one is just so old and slow that I feel like when the new iPads come out, I think I might purchase a new one because this guy has like the bezeled edge and like now the iPads are so nice. This one is just, it's just not a vibe. So anyway, let's get into the descriptions. So first up we have We'll start with my least, my least favorite. We have herbs and spices right here. Herbs and spices reads, a sophisticated fusion of peppered rosemary and a hint of Ceylon cinnamon dashed over botanical herbs, green fig and aromatic white cedar. Now for one, I'm obsessed with the label. I love these black labels of the reserve line. Now the reserve line uses more premium oils. So they are going to be a little bit more expensive. They are retailing for $31.50. And if you're not familiar with Kringle, the soy wax, I mean, they burn perfectly every single time. I'm burning sinful in my bedroom right now. It's so good. And the Easter candles, phenomenal. But anyway, this candle is interesting. Now, 
I am a fig lover. There's another candle that has fig in here. However, I can detect the fig in here, but it's so in the background. When you're familiar with a, a fig scent, it has this very unique sweetness. How like, when you add honey or agave nectar to like a food, they definitely like taste different than regular sugar. Fig adds a very unique earthy sweetness to scents. And for me, this herbs and spices just really, it smells like fresh herbs, almost, and again, I feel like this is like the difference between fresh herbs and dried herbs. When you get like a jar of like dried spices, they have so much more aroma in a jar than like fresh herbs like on a counter. And I just smell like a bunch of different herbs in the air. But they're not like spicy herbs. They're very, very green. I cannot pick out which one. That's totally like not my wheelhouse and I have not burned this yet. But this is totally a kitchen scent. And I know, I think it was like Philly Candleman who mentioned this, that he doesn't picture like his whole house smelling like this. And I, I don't either. This is definitely a very designated candle fragrance. And I do put certain candles in my kitchen, and that is where this one will be spending its entire life. But it is definitely like an herbal scent. I think this collection was very much geared towards a certain demographic. And the demographic is definitely not, not me, but it is different. It is different. It is herbal. And again, I have not lit this, so I can't tell you how strong it is or whatnot. But yeah, it's a very interesting herbal scent with the tiniest, tiniest hint of sweetness from the fig. So that's herbs and spices. Definitely not my favorite. However, I will burn it and I will let you guys know what I think. All right, this guy. Crimson and Clover. Now I'll be honest, I do not love the label on this one. Just not really my style. However, this scent. It's amazing. It says, fresh off the vine, this fragrance features fruity notes of fig pulp, muddled berries, complemented by green clovers and dewy florals with a hint of velvet musk and sugared amber notes. You guys, this is so, so yummy. Now, if you're familiar with high-end perfumes or fragrances, Diptyque has the fig candle or the Feldosa Coast perfume. This is not a dupe by any means, but that fragrance is so first fig forward. And so is this. This is so good. I, I need a backup. Oh my gosh. You get that earthy, sweet, rich fig. And again, to me, I love gourmands. I love foodie scents, except for this one. But I enjoy other sweetness too and other like uh, other genres of fragrance and for me this is still hitting the strings of that sweet heart that I love with that sweet fig the clover the muddled berries it all just surrounds this and makes this a sweet earthy fig this is stunning this to me i feel like you could burn this when company's over and anybody who walks in your house is just going to be like it doesn't smell they're not like that smells like fig or that smells like cedar where like when you walk into someone's house and you're burning like a birthday cake can it work cookies and cream it sounds like you're making a chocolate cake right they they know like it clicks with this your house just smells beautiful, smells fresh. I haven't burned this yet, but they just smell delicious without being bakery. So maybe delicious is very delightful. It just smells really fresh, crisp. Oh, this is so good. And I know that if anybody walks into your home and you're burning this in your living room, you're bound to get a compliment because the vibe of it is just that comfort, that sweet, earthy. If you love a fig scent, try this. If you don't love fig, I, I, I would stay a little clear of it, but it is definitely a fig forward scent and I'm obsessed. All right. Last but certainly not least, we have the one that I think has the most beautiful label. It is still currently available and that guy is Blue Orchid. Now take a look 
at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is the most vibrant flower I've ever seen in my life. All right, blue orchid. Fragrant wild orchid is blanketed in the sophisticated richness of white amber resin, powdery musk, precious woods, and nect nectarous dark fruits. Nectarous. So I assume that's full of nectar. Okay, anyway. Take all of that as you will. This smells like a zest bar of soap. Like, I watched Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, and I was thinking that this smelled like a bar of soap, like a men's bar of soap, but I could not detect what soap it smelled like. And she said zest, absolutely. This smells like a very green, citrusy men's bar of soap. Interesting, interesting choice. I was expecting from the picture to be a very bright, bright floral. It's definitely not. It's definitely more of a spiced, citrus, soapy scent. I'm not mad at it. I actually really enjoy this, and I think this will be a great bathroom scent. I think this will be a really great bedroom scent when you, like, clean the sheets, and you don't want, like, a laundry scent. You want something that just smells really fresh and uplifting, but you want something a little bit different. This, I think, hits the mark for me, especially when it comes to, like, spring and summer, when you want, like, a little bit of a citrus, but this has a little bit of a kick. It's a little bit more sophisticated. I definitely get that zest bar soap, though. Totally. Like, hits the nail on the head. It smells like a zest bar soap. I really, really enjoy this one if you like citrus. And not only can I enjoy this one, but one of you can enjoy this one as well. Now, listen. Full disclosure, this was not planned. I was not planning on doing a giveaway. Kringle did not send me this to give away. I opened up my PR package and there were two of these and no crimson and clover. And I reached out to Mick and Jamie to just let them know. And they were like, oh my gosh, what happened? So they went into their warehouse and they actually realized they switched a box or something happened. Jamie messaged me and um, I was like, well, do you want me to send it back? So they're like, no, you can keep it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it away because I was gifted this, not to give to you guys, but I am gonna give it to you guys. So here is how you can win a blue orchid candle. Now what's awesome too, is they shipped me my separate one in literally a single Kringle box. So it's gonna be shipped. I'm gonna bubble wrap it and then I'm gonna ship it in the Kringle container. That way it's super safe for you guys. I'll put like a little note in there. But a few things that you need to do for this giveaway. Number one, give this video a thumbs up down below on your phone, hit that little thumbs up. That lets me know that you're enjoying this content and you wanna enter the giveaway. Leave a comment as to, did you pick this up? Are you going to pick any of the reserves up? What has been your favorite Kringle release this year? So in 2023, what is your favorite scent from Kringle's release? Or did you, did you pick up anything recently? What you're looking forward to? Anything like that, just leave a comment about what you're looking forward to or what you like so much about Kringle this year. That will be your entry down below. And then I want you to head over to my Instagram. I will leave my handle and go ahead and give me a follow on there. I will be checking to make sure that you're following me on Instagram. You liked this video and you left a comment down below. Today is April 6th. With Easter going on this weekend, I will close the giveaway on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will pick a winner on Monday morning live. I will put all the comments into random.org, randomly pick a comment. You have 24 hours to send me your email of your address, and I will ship this candle out to you guys. One entry per person, please, and I will be checking to make sure you follow me on Instagram and your comment. So if you do leave a comment, just, you know, make sure I either you're, you know, I recognize you on Instagram or like you leave in parentheses your Instagram handle to 
enter this giveaway. I'm super excited to give you this opportunity again. I cannot stress this enough. This was not planned. This was just something that, hey, there was an accident. I accidentally got an extra candle and I'm going to give the opportunity to give one away to you guys as a thank you for being so supportive of me on this channel through the ups and downs and sticking through with me and the move and all of that. And yeah, so super excited. But if you do not win the giveaway or you just want to order some Kringle candles, make sure you use code DREWYOCK15 to save 15% off your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe. That way you can see every video I upload here on YouTube. Make it a better world. Be kind. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.